Oh, look at that. That is skill right there. Grenading a flying pig. Let's play a game, shall we? Hey there, good news. It turns out that Dugan in DC was just a bug. All I had to do was basically restart everything and then it worked. So, I guess I spent that entire Let's Play flailing around for nothing, but hopefully the next one will be better. In the meantime, I, there's uh, this guy I know, he suggested that he, he wanted to see me go through the classic levels, even though I've already gone through them before, so I figured just to take it a spin, I'm going to do a mod that basically, it rearranges the levels, it rearranges the levels to be based off of Duke Nukem 64, which I actually had as a kid. I mean, I also had access to the PC version, don't get me wrong, but this was the console version I had access to. And seeing as how we only had one computer and I had my own N N64 console, I was actually playing on this a lot more than I was on the PC version, so let's check it out. And obviously it is censored in some regards, but it's actually less censored than you may think. And uh, they find some pretty clever ways to work around the censorship, too. It actually makes sense within the Duke universe. When we last saw Duke Nukem, the Earth's only remaining hope, had single-handedly defeated it. With Proton out of the way, Duke returned home to a hero's welcome and was immediately abducted by Regulitians. Using explosives wisely hidden inside a Muller, Duke escaped, destroyed the Regulitian mothership, his long haul back to Earth, shortened by thoughts of adoring crowds, curvulous speeches, and of course, text screens that go by too, so freaking fast. And no more freaking aliens. Warning, incoming. Hey Earth, anybody listening? I got a little prop. So as you can see, it actually has a story. Unlike the original Duke 3D that basically just plopped you there without any explanation. This one actually tries to connect it to the previous two. So yeah, that ought to be fun. Now that the mouse is working a lot more properly, as you can see, no more skipping. Also helps with the Z Duke and not the Megaton edition. We are good to go. I shouldn't have to save anywhere near as often. See, look. You can already tell this is based off of the Duke 3D. Oh, look. Instead of just saying innocent, it just straight up says guilty. Yeah, what a relevant discussion for a relevant day. Oh, and you'll see the first censorship right here. Instead of being a babe catalog, it's a slug magazine catalog. It's basically a gun catalog, which makes a lot of sense. And the funny thing is, it's got a, a sort of flesh-colored bullet there, so it, and it actually kind of looks the same. And they also changed the area of the secret, too. Just to mess with you a little. That wasn't even necessary. They just did that for the hell of it. And, of course, as per technical limitations that... Th those aren't used as camera textures. This guy really went above and beyond to make it feel like the N64 version. Even in areas they really didn't have to. Due to it just being technical limitations and not just being censorship. But you know, what are you gonna do? Come get some. Of course in some ways it is, it is also enhanced. Because you can see that. And it's in the daytime. Of course the, the odd thing is that in the N64 version the skyboxes didn't have any textures. I guess Parallax Skies would have been messed up on this version or something. I have no idea. Maybe they should have just used clouds or something and had it flow by, fly by. You know, like on Duke Nukem Zero Hour. I guess they didn't think about it at the time. They just wanted to get it over and done with. So as you can see, they also added trees, which is also a nice touch. Of course, this is a grenade launcher, which means I can't just aim straight. Yeah, you gotta angle it a bit. Go ahead. It has the, the, the rocket launcher, as usual, but it's not immediately here. It's further. Further, further down. Come on, you pig. Give me your armor. Mm, there we go. Look at that. Kiosk changed, too. Well, the popcorn stand, whatever you want to call it. Ah, bad, buddy. The snack stand, whatever. Son of a pig. Son of a porky pig. Hey, porky. Why don't you back up a bit, huh? Yeesh. Mmm. I got the shotgun a bit early, didn't I? Thanks to that stupid pig. 
Yeah! That's more like it, ain't it? The hell? Oh yeah. This isn't really there either. I guess they removed it. Also, there is something kind of weird here. The funny thing is, I wonder if it's still here. In the original Duke 3D, there's a... There's an identical version of the hallway. Yep, look at that. It's, it's not even used. I think that was originally meant to be used as, a, as the mirror. And I guess they were gonna, just going to have a sprite of Duke Nukem just walking by to imitate your movements to look like an actual mirror reflection. You know, kind of like the technique they did in the original. But I'm going to assume that they had to drop it. Which is a shame. They could have at least kept the mirror and just had it not reflect the enemies or Duke. I think that would have been better. It would have been better than what they gave us. They could have just left the mirror and then just have it reflect the environment because in many more modern games, I guess, well, well, not this generation because I think we have gotten to the point where for the most part we can do real-time reflections of everything and have it be good. But, you know, in the PS3 era or PS2 era, or, you know, in that general area, they had cubic environment maps that reflected the level that they didn't reflect the actual moving actors within it, so that would have made sense. Uh, I kind of wish they had kept it. You know, they could have just had it be transparent and have a mirror texture slapped over it to make it look like it's reflecting. It would have been better than what we got. Also, another another difference, you can't kill them. Instead, you can save them. I actually like this change. I prefer this change to the original Duke 3D. You know, you can fight me about this, but I think Duke Nukem is meant to be an action hero. I think the, the babes and the pods, especially in Duke Nukem Forever, but even in Duke Nukem 3D, it seems kind of jarring that you're supposed to be an action hero, you're supposed to be all cheesy, and yet it's got this huge, really dark element with women that you can't save, that you can only mercy kill. I mean, for something that's trying to be a parody, that's kind of, it's kind of jarring and out of place. It makes a lot more sense if you can save them. Yes, that's a, that's a notion of censorship that I actually agree with. Not because I think censorship makes things better, but because I think in that particular case it fits Duke, 3, Duke Nukem better. I mean, hell, they could have removed the babes entirely. That would have been a censorship. That would have been worse. But instead, they changed it into an actual mechanic that you can benefit from. And heck, at the end of the at the end of each level, it now says "Babe saved." It actually records that. It's basically a measure of how much of a hero Duke Nukem is. Also, they seem to have removed the earthquake there. I forgot about that. I forgot they removed the earthquake part too. And of course, there's no lady stroking against something. I'm going to assume it's a piece of fur or something. Yeah, they changed that. Now it's invasion of Uranus. What the hell? Okay, about to say. I'm pretty sure that in the original Duke Nukem 64, the grenades would hit and they would explode immediately, not bounce. At least hit against the crack and explode immediately. Hello? Would you like to die? Isn't that awesome? Oh yeah, one cool thing they actually did, they actually added over Duke 3D, is that you can gibble at the enemies with any weapon. It's kind of like Quake 2 in that regard. Maybe I can... Maybe... Yeah, the same is true here. See? Look at that. That was something that Duke Nukem 64 actually added that made it more violent. Yeah, people saying, oh, it was censored for violence. It was not censored for violence. It was censored for sexual sh sexual scenes. It was censored for religion, drugs. But it was not censored for violence. It was more, it was more violent. It was more violent than the original. Did you know that? Did you know Duke Nukem 64 is actually more violent than the original Duke 3D? <laughs> yeah, contrary to popular belief, Ever since Mortal Kombat bombed on the Super Nintendo, they quit censoring violence. They just censored out sexuality, strong language, and religion. Yeah, as you can see, the, 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 the dancing girl is still here, but now she's got clothes on. And you can't proposition her either. Get some. Cool. Now she's Come just an independent woman who just feels like dancing. And you can't kill her either because she's too powerful for you. I love how they keep the winking woman, though. Apparently that's not too sexual. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's sexually suggestive, but I guess it isn't too sexual that Nintendo will wouldn't allow it. I guess Nintendo... I guess 3D Realms is like a wink and a nod, 
Don't worry, we still got some sexual references in here. Just not the ones that Nintendo would would notice. And obviously that car is from Pigsty. I believe there was commentary on that. Yeah, I uploaded the developer commentary. Check that out. Maybe I'll put it as a card in the beginning of this video. If I remember. I'll try to make it as a card in the beginning of this video so you guys can see that. It's basically the developers just talking about, you know, making the original levels, and one of them mentioned the N64 version and it having that car inserted there. Hello, buddy. Go screw yourself. Oh boy. How did an alien survive that with just a feign? Well, he may or may not have survived. They've got balls of steel. Yeah, they got a lady's hand holding, caressing them. Hmm, don't have time to play with myself. Ha! <laughs> it's funny how they, they managed to slip in in your windows like this. In your window. <laughs> anyway. It's, it's kind of funny. Like I said, they had to censor a lot of things, but they, they left some things in. Like balls of steel. And I don't have time to play with myself. Wait, what? You don't even have to press it, you just have to go near it? That just makes the line? That's lame. Wait a minute. He only says it once? That's ridiculous. Don't tell me that's the sensor. Ouch! Ah, oh, that hurt, man. Oh, crap. I know what kind of a joke that is. That, that's a reference to... That's basically... A joke about police brutality, and while... Well, some cops do abuse their power. Cool. I like to think most cops are cool. Most cops wouldn't do that. Come on, you prick. Why don't you get the hell down? Hey, bastard! Come down here! What's wrong? You don't want to fight me mano a mano? Why don't you come down to my level, you asshole? There you go. You like that, huh? You like eating that? I forgot what the secret was. There was a way to get inside that store, but I forgot how. I believe it was somewhere around here. I wouldn't know where, though. Seriously, though. There's gotta be something. I could've sworn there was a teleporter or something. It's around here somewhere. There's some kind of teleporter. Hang tight real quick, I'm gonna... I was pressing use all over the place and it happened to be here. Fine, whatever. I did think about something though. He, I'm sorry. John St. John actually re-recorded his lines for this. I keep getting tongue-tied, I don't know why. Anyway, what I don't get is in World Tour why they didn't give you the option to use the Duke 64 voices. I think they sound much better than the World Tour ones. <clears throat> I mean, it's a higher quality than the Duke 3D ones, and there's a lot more to his voice than in World Tour. No offense, John St. John, but in Duke in Duke World Tour, you started to sound like you were catching on in age. Just me. He doesn't sound as energetic as he used to. I think age is catching up to him. Or at least it was. Well, you know, it obviously still is, even now more than ever, but... I think John is get, is getting a little tired. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe he's still got some fight left in him, but maybe he just wasn't very interested in the world tour. I don't know. But Forever had that trend going too. Kinda. Ah, oh hey, you son of a mother humping! I fought in your general direction. And of course, it doesn't just auto-save when you go to the beginning of each level either, because why the hell would we do that? Why would we do that? What's even the point of this? There's not even any items in here for you to get. That doesn't even make any sense. Pretty much the entire reason to come in here is just to ogle. Just to ogle the stuff in here. So I'm just gonna, oh, okay. Wow, it's a good thing I died then. I would have completely ignored this part. Sorry. Cool. 
I didn't even realize there was a door you could open. I just assumed the decoration was not even thinking. Yeah, go screw yourself out. Hey! Hey, Porky! Get the hell out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay. That's a little bit more than I expected, but that still isn't. That didn't. That still didn't really get me anything, did it? What did it actually get? Ooh, more enemies! I can't wait to die. Ooh, you mean I can die? I can get more things that want to kill me? Anywho. Oh crap! I already got that one. Damn. Yeah, I believe there was health. Yep, there is health in here. Not the big kind like it was hoping for, but hey. <clears throat> At least I got something. Okay. And of course, I already used the bathroom too, which means I'll just have to drink my toilet water. Isn't that nice? I'm the mighty Duke Nukem. Reduced to drinking toilet water. Stay in school, kids. You know what? Screw this. I'm probably healed enough. Besides, I forgot to grab that atomic health. It's another thing I forgot. I'm getting forgetful these days. I really need to remember. I need to remind myself more often. Okay. Now I'm saving again just to make sure that I don't have to go through this crap over again. When I inevitably die, which is going to be soon. Sooner than you think. Also, if you notice, that's the first censorship of this level, the level name itself, because obviously we can call it the Red Light District. That would be too sexual. Take this. Ah, damn it. So instead, it's Gun Crazy. And of course, where the strip club was is now a Duke Burger. It even had an addition from the Duke Burger level. You know, in the Atomic Edition, it actually has some of that. But the funny thing is, is it actually has the entire level as a secret level, so it's kind of weird. I guess that's just a taste of it. Ooh, look at that. For rental. Give me the... Get, why can't I get that sniper rifle, huh? That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot. Does it hurt? Yeah, I would imagine it would, Duke. Anyway, I just remembered. There is actually a, a sort of censorship oversight that Nintendo never really caught on to, but is actually pretty sexual in nature. I think I made a video on that. I don't remember if I still have it up or not. But if I do, maybe I'll try to put it in the description below, if I find it. But anyway, I'll tell you about it in a minute. Trust me, you're going to want to see this. Damn it! I'm losing health bat fast. Oh, yeah. Ah, son of a mother pumping! Screw yourself, pal. Ah, there we go. That's better. You know what I don't get? If they're just gonna scrap the mirrors anyway, why didn't the why didn't they keep the original bathroom from Duke 3D? I mean, granted, this arguably looks more like a regular bathroom, but. Why bother making the change? It would make more sense if they were making the change to be easier on the mirrors, to be easier on the system, but they ended up not using mirrors anyway, so... Yeah. This is what I meant by that censorship oversight. No one under 18 permitted. Is your weapon big enough? Oh, that's not innuendous at all. This, keep in mind that when Duke 64 got on the N64, it was basically censored the hell out of, especially for sexual content. And yet this got away with it. This is a napkin dispenser. That is a stool. I wonder what that could be used for. Could that be toilet paper? No. That's not a toilet. Gee, I wonder what else we could be using, using napkins for. With that imagery, huh? You tell me. Seems like a front to me. Oh no, these are just action movies. You don't understand? These are action movies, baby! <laughs> I know what's going on here. Ready for action. <laughs> they got away with basically sexual films back here. 
you know, just by plausible deniability. Notice how she's dancing up against that guy, too. Oh, you don't understand, though. It's an action movie. Where is it? Well, yeah, I think you could actually use that toilet. Because of the, the way it modified things. Ah, look at that. First try. Ah, damn. Better keep the lights on. Oh, boy. I knew there would be a freaking pig in here. But unfortunately, I didn't count on me not being able to kill him. Wait a minute. This is Duke 64. I can just kick the corpses. I don't have to wait for them to feign. I can just prevent them from coming back. And of course that's still here because that's not sexual and it's not swearing. There's nothing that Nintendo would be against. You know, just nuke them, must die. I mean, yeah, on the N64 they kind of censored death. Mentions of death. Never say die. At least for game titles. It's funny because there was actually a licensed game called Skater Die, so, you know, that's a thing. But I guess because the context of it? Go screw yourself, baby. Thank you. Here we go. I mean, you can't just blanketly say that the word die is forbidden because, you know, depending on the context, there might be a wholesome reason to use it. Also, you notice there's missing textures. I noticed that on the last level, but it is really apparent now. I wonder why that is. So yeah, as you can see, it's basically just a sample from that Duke Burger level from the Atomic Edition. <coughs> Except it's <coughs> also included in here, which is kind of funny. <coughs> Jeez, not even gonna give me any water from it. <coughs> That's real nice. Leave me alone! That's pig brutality, man. Pig brutality. Cool. And of course you can't go in there because you're not meant to yet, because that's where the bar was and now it's a kitchen. Cool. Yeah, see? See how, how clever they were at doing this? I think it's pretty cool. Because they basically turned a nightclub into a Duke Burger. They just changed it into different aspects of it. Wait until you see what they turned the strip club into. Oh, I think you'll find that very interesting. They had to get very creative with this. And I think they did a pretty good job with that. It doesn't even look like it's censored either. I mean, if you didn't know that that was originally a strip club, would you even notice? I mean, this looks like something that would fit right into the Duke universe. A Duke burger? Like I said, it's got an actual level dedicated to it. This would make sense. This makes perfect sense. Demolition. And of course, you got those 3D explosions. They're always nice to look at. That was a nice addition to the N64 version. Hey, pig, why don't you leave me alone, huh? I'm drawing way too much parallels here. Like I said, I respect the police up and down. Even if some of them are bad. Obviously, the majority are good. Come on, come get some. Wait, why would you want them to come in here if it's the kitchen area? Check weapons and door. Why would a Duke Burger kitchen have... Yeah, okay, I guess you could sort of tell that it was censored if you look at this. Unless this is just an employee lounge. Oh, look at that, Duke Rally. Isn't that nice? That's pretty cool. It's like the Duke version of pole position. That's what they called it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, much better. What the hell, man? The hell, freak. Thank you! Thank you, oh, you're so nice. 
Unless I'm mistaken, they, the babes also give you 10% health, just like they do in Duke of Zero Hour when you save them. So that's obviously an incentive to save them. Dang it. I should not have gotten that. That was, that was bad. It was a mistake. That was an unfortunate mishap. Oh well. Anyway. Like I said, this is a kitchen now. I don't think this kind of design was even in Duke Burger. Obviously they had to somewhat base it off the original bar map. Off the original bar. So they had to... They had to make it look like... They had to sort of give the same style. I forgot where the hell's the key. Somewhere around here. Ah, look at that. That's how you get back there. Ah, here we go. Come on, man. You gotta be such a prick. Come on, man. Damn it. Just get past these damn pigs. I'll show you what they replaced that way. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, and also, instead of dropping from the ceiling, now they just drop through. They come out of a roof. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. It's not as cool as the dropping out of a roof one, but you know, it's pretty cool too. Yeah, see, this is what they changed the strip club into. Okay, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm freaking dying. Yep, they changed it into a parking lot. A loading lot. You know what I mean. Son of a... Son of a... Come on. There we go. You're not coming back to life now. If you were fainting, you're not fainting anymore. Or ever again. So you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. That's pretty Ruby. clever. That is pretty clever. Because, you know, instead of the area that... Instead of the dance stage, it's just a loading dock. Which is kind of cool. And of course, they gotta come in through here. Probably through some other street. Private property, no trespassing. They even added a duke, a D-meat. Oh, that's funny. Hey, baby, I bet you want some of my D-meat. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Anyway. Look at that. And of course, you still got this. You know what? I don't even need the pipe bomb because this introduces another type of not instant explosion. The pipe bombs are just want to regulate it. Take that, you bastard. A situation like this, the grenades are better. Gotcha. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Ah, crap. Go screw yourself, pal. You gotta be ashamed. Harassing normal folk like that? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, boy. I'm resorting to this. It's not good. It's easy to run out of shells in this, apparently. I'm I'm that kind of person who just obsessively uses the shotguns, so you know. Damn. Oh, crap. There you go. Screw you, man. Screw you. Okay. There you go. There you go. Hold on to your butt. Take that, you prick. Rip him a new one. Yeah. Let's see. If I remember correctly, there was some. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. There's the secret. Remember how I said the Duke Burger is actually its own secret? Yeah, it is. They took the Duke Burger from the Atomic Edition. And they just slapped it on here. I mean, some could see that as lazy, but I see that as a nice homage. Especially considering they added a parking garage. 
You know, because it actually, it may have even come from this Duke Burger, who knows. It actually makes sense if you think about it, because this Duke Burger clearly shows the origin of the Duke meat, so who knows, maybe it ships out to other locations. There you go, Puddin. Man, I'm severely running out of ammo. Of all kinds. And help. But that's that's beside the point. Mighty foot enabled. See look. There's there's where the there's where the Duke Burger was to the original. Damn it. I didn't mean that kind of damn. Ooh, Bay War, tonight at 9 p.m. Kinda of funny how you can have have ladies, they just have to be strong and independent. Maybe that's the problem. Nintendo didn't Nintendo doesn't have a problem with the sexy ladies. They just have to be tough and independent and who don't need no man. That's their that was their only condition. Okay, you can have the sexy women, but they've gotta be badasses. I am perfectly okay with this. More or less. Yeah, I know censorship is censorship, but I think they it actually chose very clever ways to censor it. In ways that aren't really all that invasive. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't give you health, unfortunately. Damn, I was wrong about that. I wasn't even checking before. I I thought I thought my health was the same, I just wasn't sure. Oh look at that! That is skill right there. Grenadin, a flying pig. I got you out of the sky, didn't I? Reach for the sky, dirtbag. Are you kidding me? How the hell are you still airborne? Bastard. Okay, this isn't good. My health is looking pretty low here. And they're gonna come back, too. They're coming back for me. I needed that. Yeah, see, Duke's voice actually sounds more refined here. It, it, there's more of an energized, there's more energetic, there's more energy behind his voice. I'm sorry, I kept trying to say energized, energetic, but really it's just more energy. His voice has more of an oomph to it, you know? Damn it. There we go. Porky right out of the sky. Unfortunately, I'm I'm wasting ammo now. I wonder if they still got the Beavis and Butthead reference. I think they did. I just don't remember. Where is it? Wait, where's the speaker at? Go away. We're like close. Yep, they do. You gotta love the Beavis and Butthead reference. Go away. We're like close. Oh yeah, and that actually Ruby. opens that actually opens the key, which is kind of funny. Wink and a nod, Beavis, butthead. Thanks, butthead. You're a real pal. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the questionable sources of Duke Burger's meat. If you don't know already, you'll probably find out in the next one, or you'll just watch someone else play it. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.